guys. Uh, went down tonight. There was 80 invited guests. I went down there to record. I did a little bit of recording before. I record a little bit after. You were not allowed to record any video during it. They didn't want any videos. I would have loved to have done a live feed for you guys. I thought it would have been great to get the message out to, you know, to thousands tonight. You've probably heard it all on the radio anyway today because he's been on the radio. And he spoke most of the stuff he'd, he'd spoken about on, on the radio. Um, he spoke about tonight. There was a, you know, a question and answer thing, which really we kind of, you know, they're looking for a training ground. They, you know, trying to locate one. They're working with the Blackpool Council on that to get a training ground more central. It seems like Squires Gate is not going to be the place where the training ground's going to be. They want to move it somewhere else. Although it was hinted that, you know, things are going to be sorted out a bit down there because because I, I was saying to them, you know, the players don't even have anywhere to like get changed after they've trained, which didn't make any, any sense to me. I spoke to quite a lot of people. The MSG were there. I spoke to all of the guys there. There's some interviews with them. Uh, Michael Bolingbroke spoke to me and he is a, you know, I, I said to him, we want you to stay longer, really. You know, you've done such a good job, just keep going. And Ben, ben Arten as well, he's, he's just fantastic. Uh, spoke to Tim, spoke to Christine after I speak to Simon Sadler as well. In Rollies, which I did say was a bucket list thing. It's not quite, I have actually mentioned to him that I want to do a full interview. So Simon, I know you watch these when you watch it. I want to do an interview. In fact, I tell you what, we, we it would be very nice, you know, if we could get you and Brett in. We'll do it all, to, all together or I can just do... I, I, I think Brett's quite clean on it as well. So, Brett, I know you watch. So, we need to arrange this rollies and we'll tell everybody, you know, over a coffee, a nice relaxed one. You, you know what it is. You, you know I am. Simon's got, like, a long plan, a very long plan for the foot... You know, for the football club. He's not looking at short term. He's looking at long term. He said he would be very disappointed if he doesn't get back in the championship within three years. He's really aiming for two, but I think you can do it in one. I think Blackpool Football Club are bigger than you think yet, Simon. I think they're a sleeping giant. I think with a little bit of ambition and all these fans behind you, we've got a chance to get you know back in that championship this year. You can do it. We're all behind you. I'll tell you, with this... Get off to a good start. Get up near the top of the league. The fans will be back, and uh, I think we've got a good, good chance. So... I, I would be disappointed if we don't get back in the championship this year, to be honest. I think we can do it. I really do. They talked about disabled access and the fact that the disabled people um, have to sit at the front and people walk in front of them and go to the toilets all the time. They can't see. It's not. So they're looking into things like that. Somebody asked about some safe standing at, at the back of the North Stand, um, which again, they, you know, it's something they would be interested in, in, in looking into. I don't know if they, if they can do that yet, but safe standing in the North would be really good. He talked about there was lots of like cosmetic things around the ground that, he, you know, he could see he's not happy with all the rust on, you know, needs sorting out. He did say that he had a survey. Somebody came around and surveyed the ground before he bought it. So he, he's well aware that there's like a million pounds worth of stuff needs, you know, cosmetically doing to the ground to bring it up to shape. And it's just, you know, it's it's been neglected. It, it really has. I mean, anybody can see it's been neglected. The Hawks doing a good job with the pigeon poo. Uh, that's a, a, another good thing. It's just, you know, he talked about how he'd been a Blackpool fan since his dad took him in, in, in the 70s. He didn't mention who Andy Garner, which, I, you know, he can't mention everything, but I know that's his favourite player. I thought it was quite funny, actually, at the end, because Christine said and got up and talked all about, you know, what a fantastic supporters trust we've had. And uh, hopefully, you know, he'll work with them because, you know, we're a club that lots of uh, other clubs are, are envious of and he just straight away just hit a bat with well you know the the previous incumbent said something like that so I don't really want to go down that line and you just knew he was just he is just a Blackpool fan you know it's just it came over so much he's he's so honoured to get the job so I'm really hoping I, I'm, I'm wishing Simon for you with, with all my heart that it just goes absolutely brilliant for you and you get us back in the championship and you get your dream because obviously it's your dream to own Blackpool Football Club. So uh, it's my dream for somebody to take Blackpool Football Club back up and I hope it's you. I, 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 honestly, I really do, Simon. I, I, I hope so. Anyway, this is a, obviously the long video. Hopefully I've got it on, um, you know, I've got this on early morning, you know, for you guys. So hopefully, and, and enjoy, just, just enjoy. Thank you very much for everybody who subscribes and keeps watching because the club now I'm, you know, the club are aware, you know, everybody at that thing. I mean, most of the people in that room are coming up to me, you know, then 
they all watch it, Yorkshire Seasiders. They're all watching this YouTube channel and it's great for exiles. So just keep subscribing if you like it. Hit that like button and just comment in the comments below and let's just get this thing rolling bigger and bigger before the season starts. I'm mega excited about it and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching. And there you go, Claire. I've waffled on and on and on and on so you can just fast forward it a little bit like I told you to. I know you say I waffle on too much, but so there you go. Give you a mention. Claire, the hospitality manager, says I waffle on too much. So, <laughs> cheers. In fact, Claire's actually promised to get me some tan tangerine sunglasses to uh, replace these. So, let's see if you do, Claire. All right. Give you a little mention too. Right, guys, super exciting. I'm on my way down to video the Simon Sadler meeting tonight. So, I'll let you all know how it goes on, hopefully. I mean, we kind of know anyway the sort of stuff he's going to say because Matt Scrafton's already tweeted it in the Gazette. Right, lads, just to let you know, we're in side rollers it's all set up like that they're not allowing any filming tonight so i'll just have to let you know what goes on but, uh, it's all set up it's all right i won't film that it's all right i'm only filming sort of i don't know just so this is people arriving for the meeting steve rolling there checking them in checking in checking them in got a list here look at all the people that are coming can't tell you who they are are you on a view from the tower 73. I'm on view from the tower, yeah. Seaside not set. Forever. Seaside Forever, there we are. Okay, he's here. So. Say hi, I'm at Lee Charles TV. Lee Charles TV. people inside. I'm here with Chris from Walking Football again. Hi Chris, how are you? He's invited. Hi, yeah. What's, what's your name? Kevin. Tree. Kevin, this is, this is Kevin. Mark there. <laughs> Look at that. I Mark. Blooming heck, I tell you what. <laughs> Flipping heck. What, what can you say to that, lad? Look at that. Oh. Looks good. Looks good. God, yeah. I'll tell you what. King of the king of the ball, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. Actually, guys, I'm just wondering, are these better than my sunglasses that you keep all having a go at? Mark Cregan's shoes. There we go. So here we are, look in the meeting, all sat down there, there's all these people here. We're not allowed to video in the meeting, so obviously I can't video it when it's going on, but this is this is what's happening now, that's all right. What's your name? Jack. Jack. This is Jack, and you've come all the way from where? All the way from the North East. The North East, you've, 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 you've been supporting Blackpool since McMahon. Since the McMahon days. I'll tell you what, all the way from... Favourite player of all time, Keegan Parker. Keegan Parker. If only we could get somebody like him these well. days. Can't believe you come all that way. Beat the offside, try. Oh, brilliant. Him and Andy Morell were perfect, weren't they? Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. There's a video of them down there. I think so. Yeah. Hi, this is Grimmy. Grimmy from the MSG. How did you find that meeting? Uh, great. Yeah. Very informative. It seems they want to build the club as well. Yeah. A lot of people say about they want stuff and they want it now. They want million pound players, they want this, they want that. It can't happen. We need to build the club properly. Yeah. And Simon's got that view. So yeah. it's brilliant. And uh, I think we've uh, I think we have literally as I said before, I think we've got that unicorn. I think we have. I think you're right. With Brett as well, so hopefully two, three years we'll be up there. Brilliant. We'll be up there. Alright, cheers, cheers Green. What's your name? Pete, where can be a team? Alright. Yeah, I follow you on Twitter. Oh yeah, Pete, okay. Yeah. yeah. How do you find it? What do you think? Happy? Uh, brilliant, yeah. yeah glad, that's good. Glad we've got an owner that loves the football club from the area. Big fan. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on and roll on the 3rd of August. Come to, on the pool. Do you want on. me to translate that? Here with Paul. He posts on a view for the tower as... Super Kev. And what do you think, Paul, of that meeting? Um, 
very, very excited. I was excited before I got here today, and I'm even more excited now. Um, I was interviewed before by, I don't know who it was, but... Um, oh, by Sky. Oh, was it Sky? Right. Yeah. Um, I just said how oh, I've not felt this excited since I was about 14 years old. Um, yeah, yeah. It feels, like, it feels like Christmas, doesn't it? It does, it does, yeah, yeah. I, and it's just great to hear his ambitions are so long term. It's not yeah. just talking about this season, it's yeah. a 10 year plan, 20 year yeah, plan. So. Absolutely. Fantastic. I think. My opinion was that I think we've got a good in, haven't we? So we've, we've got a good owner. I think I think oh, he's definitely. a good owner. Yeah. I think with him being a fan as well, that's yeah. uh, you know. Yeah, it's a big it's a big plus. Yeah. yeah Thank you very good. much. You're welcome. Up the pill. Michael Bowling broke. We're all we're all very happy, aren't we? So what, what, how are you feeling, Michael? Very happy. Are you staying on? Very, very happy. I know you said yeah, I'd love to, but it's not just my decision. That's uh, that's Simon's decision as well. We'd like Certainly to. You'll see me through into the autumn. We'd like to keep you Thank if we can. You. We've got to keep you. You stay there. I'll make sure he pays you enough money to keep you. Have a word with Simon. Have a, all the fans uh, uh, are watching my vlog. Oh, I'll tell you, you're doing a brilliant job. You are. You're doing a brilliant job. Thank you very much. It's just amazing. He's a normal bloke. He's just normal, and we're not used to normal here, are we? You know, there's, there's no blue blue velvet, no fedora, no anything weird. It's just <laughs> and they're jealous. Which they are. Not that kind of jealous. It just it just doesn't feel real, does it? That this is actually happening. We've dreamed about it. We've thought about it, and now it's here. Yeah. Yeah. Unicorns do exist. Yeah. Fairy tales do come true. Thank you, Christine. Be rolling BST. What do you think of our new owner? I think it's a unicorn myself, but, but we needed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, and he's going to take us on the best ride. Yeah. That, that's a quote, by the way, from uh, from Mr. Oyston. <laughs> Oh, okay. fantastic day! Um, it's something we've all been thinking about and uh, wanted to see happen for a very long time. And uh, it feels a bit surreal, really, because we're all in here tonight, and there's been so much positivity in the room um, and so much goodwill towards the owners, which obviously we haven't seen over a long, long period of time. And it's um, it, it's it's, it's um, hopefully it's the happy ending that we're all we've all been looking for. But there's a lot to do. You know, we, we've sort of said it's a little bit of a cliche, but it, it's a blank piece of paper. This, and hopefully Simon and Brett and the rest of the team are going to mould it into what we all want it to be. We're looking, looking. Hopefully, um, I'm we're waiting to hear back from the people we're dealing with at the moment but I think we all know that that training ground you know you were up there filming weren't you and uh, uh, it's it's not good and the players deserve a lot better and yeah well listen listen um, watch this space I think you'll find in the next couple of weeks you'll be down there again with your with the camera you will be um, it's like a, a dream come true it's like yeah it's the complete anti it's like from one one end you've got the oyster and then you've got this guy he's like a Blackpool fan he's uh, he's prepared to invest and he's open to all these ideas and he's open to fan engagement so it's absolutely brilliant it's like if you'd have written down all the requirements of a new owner he's it so yeah brilliant and, and free beer well, just, yeah, yeah and a free bar we're going to be watching more and more in your uh, podcast this year <laughs> yeah yeah, we're going to, well. We're going to be putting out a lot more than we were because obviously there's no football. So yeah, we're going to be we're going to have more of a schedule at least twice a month. So yeah, so yeah, stay tuned, listeners. See Sounds podcast at Cody UK. Yeah, keep keep up the good work, Lee. Really good work. I really enjoy watching your videos. Fantastic stuff. Hello. Cheers, guys. It's absolutely, absolutely superb. Well, Sadler top out. Man quality. Top man. <laughs> <laughs> top man. Sadler out. Sadler out. We're all going to the penthouse for a drink in a minute. We're going to the, pen going to the penthouse for a drink with him in a minute. I'd like to go on video Danny Morgan, he's been following my videos from Poland, but now he's back in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about him? It's just, it's just the perfect situation, honestly. I can't, I really just can't believe what's happening. It's just amazing. He's just, he just, when, through all the bad times, you couldn't picture that we'd have someone like this, who clearly has, from some of the stuff he said tonight, you can tell he's a Blackpool fan, he has been all his life. 
and he doesn't like the previous owners, but no words for them anymore. He's got us at heart, and the future is so, so bright for us. The future's tangerine. <laughs> I think it's all, it's a fresh start for everybody and that includes people like us who run supporters clubs. We can get people back who, who have gone away and but it's an opportunity to get more back. Now's the time, seize the moment, Blackpool are back. It's filled round, it's filled round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Brett. Say hello to everyone. Hello, what a great evening. Yeah, it's been fantastic, hasn't Absolutely it? brilliant. We're going to look after him, aren't you? Absolutely. Simon is our dream owner. 100%. I'll tell you what, he's a fan's fan. He's so easy to talk to. He's so unlike Owen Oyston, where you've got to make an appointment and then it's very formal. He's really down to work. To, to be honest, it's almost like that a friend that you've known for years. I, I, I've got every confidence in him. I am, I am. Honestly, I can't say how much I appreciate that I'm here today to witness this. I'm so chuffed. Right, folks, I am here with Simon Sadler in Rollers, like I promised you. So, we've had a wonderful meeting today. It's been absolutely brilliant. I'm going to tell you all about it in the vlog tonight. But just say hello to everyone, Simon. Hello, everybody. Losing my voice, it's been a long day. Yeah, it has been a long day, there's a lot of interviews and he's said some fantastic things and he's going to be a brilliant owner and we're all dead excited, I'm super excited and uh, he's just going to be a brilliant owner, you, you've got that feeling. Blackpool lad, Blackpool fan. Here we are, we're with the MSG, with the head of the MSG actually, with Grimmy. Uh, he was getting a little bit irate in parts of the thing because people were saying we're not all together. Sadler. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sadler. Blackpool are back. Oh, Come on. 